description. This is the children's message for All Saints Day. Was All Saints Day a day that John Wesley loved? Yes. In a journal entry from November 1st, 1767, Wesley calls it a festival a truly lived. On the same day, in 1788, he writes, I always find this a comfortable day. The following year, he calls it a day that I peculiarly love. And why not love a day that celebrates two lives of children of God? On an All Saints Day, United Methodists remember children of God who have passed on. In many of our congregations, we light candles, ring bells of remembrance, and call the saints lost in the last year by name. We celebrate the impact their lives made on our lives. For people who recently just lost a loved one, this can be comforting or painful. For many children, this may be confusing. How do we make All Saints Day accessible for children who may not fully understand this holy day? All Saints Day is a perfect time to raise children's awareness of the importance of love and mercy in their lives. Now we have a scripture reading it from Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 through 17. The great crowd and the seventh seal. After this I looked, and there was a great crowd that no one could number. They were from every nation, tribe, people, and language. They were standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They wore white robes and held palm and wait, what? It's okay, go They held They wore white white robes and held palm branches in their hands. They cried out with a loud voice, Victory belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels stood in a circle around the throne and around the and around the elders and four living creatures. They fell face down before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory, blessing and glory, and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might to be our God forever and always. Amen. Then one of the elders said to me, Who are these people wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, Sir, you know. Then he said to me, These people have come out of great hardship. They have washed their robes and made them white, white made them white in the Lamb's blood. This is the reason they are before God's throne. They worship him day and night in his shelter, in his temple, and the one seated on the throne will shelter them. They won't hunger or thirst anymore. No sun or scorching heat will beat them down. Be down on them, because the Lamb who is the who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them. He will lead them to the springs of life-giving water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Amen. This is the word of God for the, for the people. people of God. Thanks be to God.